welcome to my garden. Today's episode is all about the epic salad. We grow many greens in our garden. We have wasabi mustard, lots of parsley, cilantro, radish, carrots. Here in South Florida, you can grow everything and really easily. There's a bunch of shard. I think we could probably use some garden pesto today too. I'm so excited. Look at this abundant arugula and kale. Lacinato kale. My nasturtium, can't wait for that to be so abundant because that means tea and some edible flowers. Those wasabi mustard greens. Those they have a nice little zip when you put them in your salad. Mmm, look at this. Delicious. I can just smell the freshness of this parsley. I, right now, we're gonna take enough for the salad. <laughs> What's really nice about living in zone 10 is that I get to grill this Malabar spinach as a perennial all year long. How delicious is that? And then you just go and snip off and voila, you can either fry for spinach, stir fry your spinach, or have it in a fresh salad. I think we're good to go for our epic salad. Let's go into the kitchen. Back in the kitchen, time to give everything a thorough wash. One of the first things I do is I make sure my sink is really clean. Then I put a large bowl in, fill it with cold water. Get a nice clean salad bowl. And you can see that you, it definitely needs to be clean. Even though this stuff is grown, actually a lot of the vegetables are grown in hyperstackers, but I still have things that are grown in soil, and of course, it just still needs to be clean regardless of where it's grown. And rinse and repeat. It's time to start drying our greens. And if you don't have a traditional salad spinner like this one, I just bought this the other day, but it is on the small side and I have a lot of greens to dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a really clean pillowcase that's pretty much dedicated to spinning out my lettuce leaves and I'm gonna put it in the spin cycle of the washer. Time to send this off to the washer. Our garden goodies are out of the spinner and we're all set to go. I'm unveiling our garden goodies. I, I just can't help myself. I've got to show this to you. You can hear the crispness. This is out of the washer. I mean, this is by using the spinner in the washing machine. I mean, hear that? Isn't that great? I love it. Okay, I just had to show that to you. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, so I'm putting everything that's from our pillowcase into the large bowl and then I will proceed to just go through and monitor what's going to go into our salad because we definitely have, wow, I have at least a week here for salad. Well, maybe, maybe even a little longer than that. I don't know. I, I don't know about y'all, but here I have salad every day for lunch and I have it for dinner, but I'm more likely to eat it every day if it's already made and washed and prepared. Isn't that the best? Shred things up into smaller bite-sized pieces. When I come across like the herbs, for example, those can actually be just shred up like that as well. I don't need to really cut them per se with a knife. For the parsley, I'm not putting the entire thing in. What I'm gonna do is grab the head and just break it up and put it into there so there's no stock in there per se. Same with the cilantro. This is our Brazilian spinach. All I'm going to do is take off the, the, the leaves and leave the stock, put it into compost. This Brazilian spinach tastes amazing when it is stir fried lightly. Here's some more Brazilian spinach. Alexa, tell us something about Brazilian spinach. Spinach, the edible flowering plant in the family Amaranthaceae native to Central and Western Asia that is pertaining to Brazil, the South American country. Thank you, Alexa. Just so you know. 
You're welcome. Enjoy your weekend, Marcy. One of the last things I'm gonna add here is some chopped fennel. Our salad greens are all done. Let's go make the dressing. Basil walnut vinaigrette. Here we go. For our dressing, you're gonna need one cup of fresh basil, sprinkle of black pepper, two garlic cloves, some sea salt, a handful of walnuts, three tablespoons of lemon juice, and you could add more for taste if you'd like, as well as quarters cup of olive oil. I'm going to blend that up. After blending my basil walnut vinaigrette, I realized it was a little thicker than I wanted it to be, so I added a half a cup of room temperature water out of my filter, and it's much better consistency. You're going to find that if you put it in the refrigerator, it may congeal a little bit or emulsify, so you're going to want to add either a little bit more lemon or a little bit more water to make it more liquefied. So that is just a little sidebar for that. How is it that we keep our greens looking fresh, crisp, ready to eat? I'm gonna take my greens and a, another bowl here and I'm gonna line it with a clean paper towel and put a layer of my greens in there that have already been washed and thoroughly dried. I'll layer another paper towel. And we're not going to mash these in. We're just gonna lay them in gently and lay another paper towel on top. We'll continue this method until we've reached the top. Then I'm gonna to take a slightly dampened paper towel, put it on the top, and secure the lid. This keeps my greens nice and fresh, ready for my family to go into the fridge every day and prepare a salad. And that's the whole point of making all these greens like this, to make it easy and accessible so your family every day can reach for fresh greens and make themselves a salad without having to go through the ordeal of washing and drying and crisping and the whole thing. It's really ready. We simply go and put this in the refrigerator and that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little tip. I hope it works for you. Let me know. Maybe you have other methods that work better for you. Let me know. Put them in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Ziva and I would like to thank you very much for joining us today. We had a great time and we hope you did too. Now your turn, Ziva. If you got value out of, say it, if you got value out of the video, hit the like and subscribe button, right? Yeah. Can you put the paw? Paw. <laughs> thank you so much and have a beautiful day.